Bruh, so I just seen this list on Twitter of the biggest first week hip hop sales in 1999. And looking at this list, I'm like, man, it was heavy hitters that year. And it just made me think, and I had to make this. Where does 1999 rank amongst the best years in hip hop history? Let's start off with number 10 right here, right? You got Silk the Shocker with Made Men. Now, Silk the Shocker is notoriously and known for being one of the rackets, one of the rackets rappers ever. I'm sorry, it is what it is. But he did have a huge hit with Mystical, It Ain't My Fault. And people down south would love it. I'm just keeping it real. Number nine, we had Method Man and Red Man Blackout. Rockwilder was producing on this album. This album was fire. I believe this is the album that pushed them into doing How High and doing that classic soundtrack. That album was fire. Number eight, Slim Shady LP. Eminem. Hmm. It was Eminem debut. Almost did 300,000. He had a hit single. My name is, he had Guilty Conscience on this one, Brain Damage, Rock Bottom, Role Model. This album was fire. I wouldn't call it a classic, but this was crazy Slim Shady, and I respect it, man. Number seven, the G Code Juvenile. Let me tell you right now, if it wasn't for 400 Degrees being such a classic, we would talk about the G Code more. The G Code, like everybody, we always talk, that's just like regular ver vernacular. The G code, the G code, you feel me? Like, people don't even know Juvenile put that in the game, you feel me? Number six, Still I Rise, Tupac and the Outlaws. I'ma just keep it real. Tupac carried this out, man. <laughs> Pac carried this out. Songs like, Baby Don't Cry, Fire. And don't, uh, I, I forgot the title of the song, but Don't Ride With Us, or You Gonna Collide With Us, that song on fire. And them, oh, damn, that down that one did 400,000. Woo! Pop was on fire. Look, Pop, even though he just passed, Pop was still ringing, man. Number five, Jay Z, Volume 3, Life and Times of Sean Carter. Almost did 500,000 records the first week. Had that big single, Big Pimpin' on there, right? And here's where, now that, that intro is fire. But here's, here's something that always get people. Some people really don't like the song S. Carter. I personally like S. Carter. People, how people feel about this album. Some people don't like this album at all. Some people love it. I'm on our love it side. Intro was fire. Big Pimple was fire. And I like it. Stock car. Now, here's the one that surprised me a little bit. Nas I Am almost did 500,000 the first week. 470, man. So, for all y'all that didn't know, Nas did move units back in the day. Man, this is crazy. That I Am album, legendary album, man. I, Nas was... Nas, to me, his first three out. It wasn't until Nostradamus, but Nas didn't really have a good album. But it matter. It was written. I am all fire. I'm rocking with it. Number three, Born Again by Biggie. Had a song with Hot Boys on it. Song with Eminem on it. Almost did 500,000, man. That was a fire album. Number two. 2001, he was going to drop the 99, Dr. Dre. Now, arguably, this would be the best album and the most critically claimed album that year. I mean, the next episode, I mean, still Dre, the joint with Eminem. Yo, this album will fire. <laughs> this album will fire, man. Did over 500,000 the first week, but didn't debut number one. Ain't that song? I wonder what album debuted number one that week. That album did 500,000 and it didn't debut number one. Imagine that. Who, who, did, who did number one that week? I gotta go check that one out. And number one, I never understand why some people never have him in, him in their top 10. I don't understand it why people overlook him so, sometimes, but he is the underdog. He always said he was. DMX and then there was X, man. This album was fire. Party up. What they really want from us. Come on, man. This is an iconic album right here, man. I love this album right here. It's, for me, this might be my favorite X album. I, I mean, I like Great Depression, too. I like Grand Champion. But boy, this was, this was X. This was the one. Oh, no, no. This is my favorite album because it got my joint on there. DMX. If you want it, come get it. My good with it. Yeah, X, X was that dude. And this just let y'all know, in a year where... Pop dropped something, Nas dropped something, 
Biggie dropped some, Dre dropped some, Juvenile dropped some, Eminem dropped some, Jay Z dropped some. X was still number one. Almost did 700,000 the first week. So anybody out there be fronting on X, don't want to put X in their top 10, just know he was number one. He was doing his thing back then. X, in my opinion, is a top 10 rapper of all time. Now, where does the year 1999 rank amongst other years? I think it was a great year. I mean, Biggie, Pop, Jay-Z, Nas, Trey, X, Eminem. We never going to see nothing like that ever again. That many legends. Think about how many legends. Bruh, probably your top five rappers of all time dropped something that year. You could arguably say five or six of the top ten rappers of all time dropped this year. So 99 is one of the greatest rap years, I have to say. It'll probably be a top 10 rap year of all time. We never going to... Think about this. You're never going to see nothing like this again where you have Pop, Biggie, Nas, Jay-Z, DMX, Eminem, and Juvenile drop in the same year. That's crazy, man. That's a legendary year, man. 99, I would say in the top 10. Maybe not the top 5 because 03, 96, a couple other years I could think ahead of 99, but... It's a great year for hip-hop, and X is a top 10 rapper of all time.